Hi everyone, my name is Vivian Hilary Mazandru. I'm 21 years old. I am a native of Human Name Community in the East Local Government of Bingo State. I'm the first daughter of my family. I'm from a family of five children where we have four girls and a boy. And we happen to call the boy our king because he's our only son though. Okay? I'm the first daughter and also the first child. My parents stay in Port Harcourt and I grew up in Port Harcourt. I school presently in Federal Polytechnic Nekede Uwiri and I am in my HND finals. I'm in the Department of Food Science and Technology. I schooled in Port Harcourt. I did my primaries. From my nursery, I did my nursery, my primary, and part of my secondary school in Port Harcourt in Modern International High School, located at 127 at Bloomer Road, the Tarkot. And after that, I moved to other states, um, where I wrote my wife at Mocham Secondary School, other state. After my work, I moved back to the Tarkot. But during my days in school, I wasn't really an easy person. I'm not the kind of person you're seeing here right now. I was very, very, Rough or lines is the language. I was very rugged. They used to call me rugged senior union. Um, but many people liked me because I was really a do and I was in DSP, so that took me a, lot, a long way. Um, My hobbies I love cooking because every man is supposed to know how to cook. I, my major hobby is football. I love football because of my love for Chelsea. I'm a Chelsea fan and I'm a Chelsea fan because my dad is a Chelsea fan. Even if I don't really know to talk about the Chelsea or whatever. Also because of Neymar. His hands on. I love Virginia Play and his looks and his hair too. I crush on Neymar and then mm, I've been through a lot of bad times and good times in life. I've been through hell, if I may put it that way. My dad used to have a bakery in Port Harcourt, but during the reign of um, Peter Ogley, this they had to scatter rainbow, so the bakery, the bakery was brought down. And ever since then, we've been having a little world problem, but I thank God that things are getting along right now. Okay. Now, down to the reason why we are here, being a model. It has not really been easy. My dad is not a lover of modeling, but my mom, sometimes she will follow my dad, sometimes she will follow me, sometimes she will go to her by her own weight. She has always been encouraging me. I started modeling from a very young age, down from my nursery schools where I have contested, and even even though I didn't even really know what modeling was all about, but I still coped, I still joined them. Even there was a time I had this um, event then in nursery three, they asked me what state are you from. I told them I was from Akwaibo. I said that because I thought Akwaibo had Igbo. So I thought I was from Akwaibo because of the Igbo there. So you see, after all these things, I still came out first. So, but as I was growing up, I still had the love for modeling, neglecting what my dad does say about modeling and all the rest, and he never supported me. I've been to different shows, I've been to different modelings, like I've contested for Face of Nana's Beauty Parlor. It's a very big beauty parlor in River State, and I came out the second runner up. I've also contested in the days of Canary of when they did this festival of Canary in River State. I was the head model when I was there. But they shifted me down to the modeling section when they saw that dancing was not my thing. Okay, and now I'm putting on this crown and it was given to me by the Exquisite Queen organization. This crown represents Exquisite Queen in state. I came into this entertainment industry through my girlfriend whose name is Juliet Orji. She urged me into this 
pageantry world in Imo State. And I've always loved representing Imo State because it's my state and because it's an entertainment place. Things happen here and most modeling agencies are found in Imo State. Here. Good ones at that. I've contested for Piece of Nana's Beauty Parlor. It happens to be a very big beauty parlor in River State or in Port Harcourt. Okay. During my contest in Nana's, I haven't come out as a second runner up. It wasn't really easy, but at least it was a platform also. And I have also been to all the states. I competed for Miss Ekimogun, but out of fear and every other thing, out of the challenges I had then, I broke out after the audition because of fear of the unknown or fear of losing because I really fear to lose in life. Exquisite Queen is a very big organization. It's a very big organization. Yeah, they are really doing well and they are under the preview entertainment in the world. Uh, I have a friend, I have a friend called Juliet. Juliet is a very good friend of mine. She brought me into this modeling agency. She nurtured me, she taught me, she pushed me to meet her CEO. She said I'm beautiful, I'm tall, I'm, I have the height, I have everything, I have the boldness, but I should try it. Although I have fears, I have fears of these modeling things. Sometimes they say um, this one, that one happened in modeling. So ever since then, I used to have this fear of modeling, but I think that actually I am wearing this crown on my head. When I met Julia, she introduced me to Mr. Peter Ekweke, who happens to be the CEO of Greenville Entertainment Agency. Mr. Peter Ekweke has been my CEO and also a very good friend of mine, who has been pushing me in the modeling world, even if I know I have this fear and I somehow have the stage right. But he has nurtured me Pampered me and carried me along in everything he does. Okay, Exquisite Queen Nigeria World Pageant, where I happen to be wearing the crown of Exquisite Queen Imo. When you say Imo, I love Imo State. It's my state and it's an entertainment state. I also love my governor, so I thank him so much. And Tiwa Savage, Tonto DK. I love the way they carry themselves, their charisma, their boldness. I also love acting because when you're an actress, I see it as a way of projecting yourself. It takes you to the next level, especially when you're really known in the acting industry. It pushes you, it helps you to get to some heights where other people do not get to. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see my role model in life is my mom. I look up to my mom so much in so many things because she has been so many through so many things in life. She has been through the good times, the bad times and yet she never gave up. And she has always pushed me to do the things that I know would lead me to the next level. She has never discouraged me in whatever I want to do except she knows or she has seen that it's not taking me anywhere. Then she will have a reason to say my daughter I also love my dad because he has been my back home. He has been there though he, was, he normally has his um, daughter modeling, he's bad, he's not good. He don't ask me for money, money for camp. He, I know he's here is money though, but today I believe he, he has seen, he has really seen the good part of modeling. He's not seen it from a good angle, not from the bad angle. Mm. And what do you have? What have you experienced so far about the entertainment world down to the modeling uh, aspect being for you? Um, my entertainment world and the modeling world. I love acting, but because I've not really seen the platform, or I've not really gotten. Um, someone or a sponsor that will really take me into the acting industry. So 
I ventured into the modeling agency and today I'm not regretting it because this platform is also going to lead me to the heights where I feel the actress or the actors have reached and even take me far. So I this has been my as a as a beauty queen, what have your challenge what have you faced so far as your challenges as a beauty queen? Well, as a beauty queen people will say a lot of things about you. Some will say you're a harlot because of the kind of things you do. Some will say you're a prostitute, ah this one, she does not live her, she does not even know what she wants in this life. But I told them that one thing one thing, even if I even if it doesn't really pay you then one day it will pay you. And you don't really look from the smaller beginnings. You look from, you, you see, modeling, modeling is a platform that when it's given to you, it takes you from the little place you found yourself down to another level, down to another level, and you keep moving. Had been, I didn't venture into modeling. I won't be sitting here right now today. And I believe from here, I also have a very long way to go. I use myself as an example. I'm not a prostitute, but I am a model. So I don't really see models as prostitutes. Even though they are the commercial models, people mistake them for the prostitute models, but that is not what it is all about. People looking at models as prostitutes is a very bad idea because when you're a model, you're 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 seen as an icon. Like People look up to this crown. A lot of people look up to this crown. And a lot of people come to you because of this crown. And a lot of people, you meet people, you meet different men, you meet people of different heights, you meet, you meet wealthy men that probably they want to help you, but because they feel that you're a woman or you're a model, they should use that opportunity to get to you in the wrong way or negatively. But because of you, you know yourself as a model, you know yourself as a queen, you use the crown you have on your head positively. You still achieve what you want to achieve from them without them having any bad thing to do to you or them getting access to your body because a lot of them want to get to you through your body and also then give you what you're asking for. 